What's going on guys? Today we're going to show you how to edit a video podcast for YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify mm -hmm. in under 30 minutes. We're going to walk you through step by step how to do it in Adobe Audition and Premiere. So stick around and we'll show you how to edit podcast real, real fast. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through our setup. You don't need to have all this kind of gear. You can really just use your iPhone or even like a GoPro if you wanted to. We just have our two microphones, our little mixer, and a laptop and some lighting. So all you really have to do is plug your microphones into your mixer, do a few mic checks to make sure it's not clipping and going red. And then you just wanna set up Adobe Audition to take your microphone inputs and then you can start recording. So we're just gonna create a new multi-track session and you wanna go into input here, mono, Scarlett. In this case, we use a Scarlett Focusrite mixer. So just wanna click input one, label that as Sarah, input two, Drew. Now you want, what you want to do is hit these little R icons, which mean it's ready for recording. So once the audio is up and running and recording in Adobe Audition, you want to make sure your camera is picking up some audio as well. So we use a Sony camera with a microphone attached to the top. You can use an iPhone, a GoPro, whatever. You just want to make sure that there's audio being recorded from the camera so you can sync up the two audio files later in the computer. So now all you have to do is sit down and record the episode. So should we re record an episode? Yeah, I get the, the very, very easy part. <laughs> All right, so once the episode is recorded and finished, we're going to take the files from both devices and take them to the computer and get editing. All right, so I've got Adobe Audition open here and I'm just going to run through how I set up my editing process. So a lot of the tools that I use are from this Reddit post here. I'll put a link in the description for those of you that want to copy it. But I did a bit of research before we did the podcast and these sort of settings work best for us and our situation. So I'm going to run through how I set up the effects to streamline our editing process. So for our podcast, we use two microphones into the one mixer, so we get two different wave files. So what we're gonna do is create a new multi-track session. All right, so now we're gonna drag the two separate audio wave files into the tracks. Now to save time in editing all the future episodes, we're gonna go ahead and set up some track effects to save as presets for the future. So we're going to set up this first step here. So what we're going to do is go into the left panel here, effect racks and start adding effects. I'm going to copy them one by one. This might not work for everybody, but for our microphones and our setup, it works really, really well. So we're going to go through dynamics, use the following setting under noise gate checked, make sure compressor and expander are not checked. Threshold negative 38, tack one, release 500, hold 100, and it gives you a little reason about what happens there. This effect removes most of the crosstalk between the microphones and also removes breath sounds and background noise. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. So basically what you're gonna do is go ahead and keep adding these as outlined on this podcast Reddit post. Now it's not gonna be perfect. As I said, you can adjust it accordingly. Again, I'm not an expert, but these are settings that worked really, really well for us. And you might find a very similar outcome for your podcast as well. So go ahead and add the rest of these effects into the effects rack. And then what you're going to want to do is hit this star icon at the end, which saves it as a favorite. And what we're going to do is call that podcast step one. And now what that does is adds it to what's called the batch process tab at the top here. So you can click this drop down and you can see I've already got a few here, but that one I just saved had the exclamation point at the end. So you can hit that and it's basically a favorite set of effects all put together. So once that first podcast step is done and saved into the batch process, go ahead and set up this second preset, which applies to your mix or master main track at the bottom here. Pretty simple. All right, so I'll leave a link in the description below. Again, that's not my post. I don't know whose it is. I'm not claiming that it's mine. I'm giving them full credit for sure. It's an absolute lifesaver for us and it saves us a huge amount of time. And yeah, helps us get this podcast editing down to about 30, 40 minutes. So we'll go ahead and close that down. We don't need that anymore. So basically now I'll work on the audio first here in Adobe Edition, get it nice and clean, and then I'll put it into Premiere Pro, get it synced up to the video file, and that's pretty much job done. First of all, we're gonna use that first batch process that I've just shown you just now. We're gonna basically take these first two original WAV files, drag them into this batch process tab. I'm just gonna click on my original podcast setup one, 
preset here. Uh, select your export settings into your appropriate folder. I like to put a prefix batched on mine just so I know that is the exported file and not getting it mixed up with the original file. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into episode 100 and it's gonna have a batched included and then I'm gonna hit the run tab. Cool, so now that that first step has been done, I'm gonna remove these original files that don't have the effects applied. And then I'm gonna drag in the batched files and then put them back onto their according tracks. And now obviously the waveform is a bit more amplified due to the effects that have been applied. What you wanna do here is just leave the file as is and not touch it because you wanna be able to sync it up to the audio recorded from your camera later into Premiere Pro. So now that the new batched files have been added in with their new effects applied, I'm gonna go down to the mix master effect and then what I'm gonna do is go back to our effects rack and I'm going to apply podcast step two which has all those additional steps outlined in the Reddit post. And basically now you just have to go through and listen to make sure there's not too much crosstalk and overtalk of one another in the podcast. Generally ours is pretty fine. Um, you just wanna make sure the silent parts when you're not talking is not picking up too much of the other person's microphone. Like these little parts, generally I'll leave it. It's not too much of a hassle. So now what you wanna do is just export that entire file as a mix down. So you've got your two files from the individual microphones with their effects applied. And then you have your effects applied to your master track at the bottom here. So we're gonna go up to the top and hit export, multi-track mix down entire session. I usually just call it episode mix down for now and export that one. All right, so that's exported now. If you did want to go through and sort of fine tune and edit it, what you can do is just sort of zoom in and give it a listen through if you like and just make sure there's not too much of these waveforms overlapping and that that's sort of an indication that it's a nice fluid conversation. There's not too much over talk. Usually that it's laughs on the second track, for example. Um, but you can see these flat points, the other microphones doing a good job at not picking up too much sound in the room. And yeah, I should be happy with that. So we're gonna jump out now and get into Premiere Pro. All right, so if you're gonna put your podcast onto YouTube, you're gonna need Premiere Pro as well if you're gonna use the whole Adobe suite. I recommend definitely setting up a template of some sort with your introduction music, outro music, maybe a intro animation. Um, definitely set that up and then it's gonna make your life a lot easier when you're editing your weekly podcast. So this is our setup template and all we're gonna have to do now is drag in the video file and the new edited audio file. Cool, so the video and the new audio file are in. Now what we're gonna do is sync up the audio. So the audio from the camera we're recording and the audio from the higher quality of microphones were recorded and now beefed up a little bit through Adobe Audition. So now we're gonna sync them up. So what you can do is just highlight both, right click and hit synchronize. And then you wanna synchronize point to track number one. All right, so Premiere has synced up as best it can. Let's just zoom in and make sure the peaks and stuff are matching up to make sure it's in sync. And it looks pretty good to me. All right, so we're gonna remove that first audio track drag that second one up. So now we're gonna find the actual intro point of the video itself. There's a bit of warming up and limbering up prior. All right, looks like it's about here. So we'll set that up, remove those files. All right, so that's the main step done, getting the audio fixed up and getting it synchronized with the original video file. Now, generally what I do is just quickly go through and white balance and color grade the original video file. We have a common LUT here with a minor effect on the video to give it a bit of pop, but Usually I'll go through and do a white balance and color grade the video. All right, so now we're just gonna quickly drag out any additional features of the video like this end card and outro music here and drag them out to the end of the video. And now we wanna go through and make sure that the audio from the introduction music and the microphones match and aren't too loud or too soft. So we're gonna quickly jump to the start and give it a quick bit of playback. Sorry, guys. All right, so it's immediately peaking. We're going to drop this introduction music down to about negative five or six, and maybe this down to like negative four or five, and see how we go. All right, so obviously we don't want that talking underneath the audio, so we're going to drag those out to fade in under the rolling music, and then have that video underlying as a bit of an introduction. That would be, that'd be a very high energy.
nailed it. That's exactly how you want it to go. So audio is perfect on the front end with the introduction music and the mic. Not peaking, let's skip to the end and make sure that outro music is not too overpowering and give it a bit of a roll in. So we want to have it about negative eight again. We're going to put two little dot points just so it rolls up underneath our outro of the episode and it's not too harsh. Let's give that a listen. So now you only really have two more steps. Export the video, export the audio. So what we're going to do is go into file, export media. Uh, if you just want to be really smooth and simple, just go to the drop down YouTube 1080p use maximum render quality here um, you can fiddle around with some of these export settings if you want if you're using 4k or want some higher export settings and then all we got to do hit q and export into media encoder all right so once the video is exporting what I, I like to do from here is export the audio back into adobe audition so what i do is put an in point at the very start of the timeline here put an out point at the very end where the music finishes and then I'll go over to edit, edit in Adobe Audition and then sequence. And I'll name it episode 100. All right, so there might be other simpler ways of doing your audio, but the reason that I do the audio mainly in Premiere Pro is because my introduction music is attached to a video file in Adobe After Effects and therefore it's just a bit easier to manage in Premiere Pro. So once it's all done in Premiere Pro, I then export to Adobe Audition and export the audio that way, if that makes sense. Kind of weird, probably an easy way to do it, but it works for me and I get it done in 30 minutes, so I can't complain. All right, so now Adobe Audition is just taking all the audio files, so the microphones and the intro and outro music back from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition. Now the benefit of this also is that the video file and the audio file are the exact same length. So the benefit for the listener is if they want to listen to 20 minutes of the podcast in audio form and then hear something cool and they want to see the video version of it, maybe you have an overlay or a screen grab, they can go straight to that time point in the video and it's all synced up perfectly. So it's just ease of use for the listener as well. And now basically all you have to do from here is go file, export, multi-track mix down, entire session, and we'll just call it episode 100 final and export. All right, so that is pretty much it for the editing process. You're gonna be left with an audio file and a video file, and then you're off to the races. Get it uploaded to YouTube and your podcast hosting platform of choice with a good thumbnail and title. And that's it, podcast done in 30 minutes. Let me know in the comments below if there's any tips or tricks that you know we can improve on or make our workflow faster because 25 sounds better than 30. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Also, if you like the sound of our podcast, it's called Look What I'm Hustling. Go into the description below and subscribe. Check it out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in another video. Bye.